Hello, this is Keith All, and today we're going to learn how we can create a rubber stamp effect in Photoshop. This is what we'll be creating right here. So let's uh, get to it. Let's go over to a new canvas. Type in whatever text that you want. I'm just going to type in stamp. I'm going to click on the check mark to apply those changes. Control T on a PC. And then I'm going to use Shift Alt and click and drag the corner to resize it. Press Enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this layer, the text layer, right click on it, and we're going to rasterize the type. Now we're going to create a selection around this text using the uh, rectangular marquee tool. We're going to click and drag here. Okay, then we're going to go up to the menu, go up to edit, stroke, and then the width of the stroke you can make it whatever that you want. I'm just leaving it at 10 pixels. Select the color that you want. The location of the stroke, meaning is the stroke going to be on the inside of this selection or on the outside of the selection or center would be just directly centered on this selection. I'm going to choose outside. Click OK. And you can see the stroke is on the outside of this selection. So uh, now let's deselect this selection. You can go up to select, deselect, or as you can see on a PC, control D. Okay, now we're going to create a layer mask on this layer. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the layers panel and select layer mask. And now we're going to go up to uh, Filter, Render, and then Fibers. And then you could play around with this variance. You could increase it, decrease it, whatever that you want. And then the same thing with the strength. Just play around with the uh, uh, with the numbers to get the effect that you want. I'm going to keep it down to 6. And then if you click on randomize, it's just going to create a different type of pattern every time that you select random, random size. And then click OK. And there you have that. And now our last, our last step is we're going to go up to image, adjustments, and then we're going to select Threshold. And then and see how it creates this uh, effect. Again, you could play around with the threshold level uh, either by typing in the number or using this uh, arrow toggle to change whatever effect that you want. As you increase the threshold level, it's going to slowly disappear your text. So just create the effect that you want. Click OK, and there you have it. That's how you can create a rubber stamp effect in Photoshop. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification. So whenever I have a new video ready, you'll be first to be notified. And also, please like, share, and comment. If you have ideas for a future tutorial, please put them in the comments below. If you have questions about this tutorial, again, add your comments and I review them often. And also, uh, um, look back to my channel very often because I upload multiple videos per week on many different digital marketing tools. So again, thank you for stopping by today. You have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.